everyone, it's Weston here. So today I've got a review for you of the House of Marley Rhythm on-ear headphones. But before I jump into the review, I'm going to quickly show you what's in the box, talk a little bit about design, features, and the headphones build quality as well. Right, so now we're going to take a quick look at what you get in the box. Now, the first thing you get is this carry case. Well, it's more like a pouch. It's really nice, it's sort of a canvas finish and it matches the design of the headphones which is really nice, keeps it nice and coherent. My favourite bit on the actual case is the uh, House of Molly logo finished off in a nice leather which is stitched to the front. Really nice, really high quality. It's a soft carry case, pouch, sorry. Uh, so it's not going to protect your headphones too much against damage. You also get a little box which is your accessories. You don't actually get any accessories with them, you just get some information. So first off, you get this, which is your information about your headphones. And then your second one is your warranty information. So you need to keep that hand there. So these are the headphones. And the first thing you'll notice is this metal disc right here with the House of Molly logo on. It's a uh, metal disc and it's uh, got a ridged feature here, which is really nice. Uh, going up the headphones, you can see you've got another button right here with the uh, Marley logo on it. And then moving up again, you've got more branding. And I really like this actually, it's a nice sort of splash of colour on the uh, relatively uh, dark styling of the uh, headphones. So these are the headphones full, so you can have a good look at them. So you can see the finish is canvas, just like on the uh, carry pouch. And it just carries over and just makes for a really coherent sort of package, what you get. So we'll just have a closer look at some of the other things. You can see you've got this sort of metal ridge disc, which matches the ridge there and just on the inside as well. So it's a, it is a really coherent design. Everything just seems to fit together really nice. And I really love the uh, sort of rustic design and styling of them. Now the headphones are uh, quite well built as well. They feel really robust. I mean, there's a little bit of flex in the headband, but it, I don't think it's going to get broken too easily. The material finish is really nice. It's really high quality. You can just see the stitching as well, which is really nice quality as well. The headphone padding is a little bit rough, and I'm not too keen on the uh, design on the ear cups either, it rubs on your ears a little bit and it's a little bit uncomfortable. Headband padding is quite nice, there's quite a substantial amount so it is comfortable on the top of your head uh, because they are uh, quite a weighty headphone but it does a really good job of distributing the weight so you don't feel the effect of the uh, headphones weight too much. I'm just going to talk about the features and uh, there is only a couple, I mean you've got your rotating cups which go backwards and forwards and side to side. It's a little bit stiff, the movement, but it is there, so you can adjust them a little bit to get the right fit. You've also got headphone adjustment there, which you can't see. And this is another thing I don't really like, is it sort of crinkles the canvas up, and it's not a really smooth action either. Right, let's uh, quickly have a look at the cable, which is really nice, really high quality cable. Just it's like a braided material and it's got um, the same colours as on the headphone just keeping in with that uh, same sort of design ethos and then uh, we'll have a quick look at the uh, push to talk which is right here so you've got your volume controls your push to talk in the middle and then you've got a pinhole mark at the back so you can use these for making and taking calls uh, it's not the greatest quality uh, microphones and the uh, voice through your ear cups is not that great either, but it is there just in case you do uh, need it. Now, uh, the one thing I will say about this feature right here is that it's not very well made. It's a little bit plastic air. feels a little bit cheap. But again, I'm sp I suppose they have to do uh, cut corners somewhere to get them at the price that they are. So now you've seen that small portion of the video, this section is going to be about comfort, noise isolation and sound quality as well. First portion is comfort. So what I'm going to do is take my glasses off and quickly just show you what the headphones look like on. So this is what the headphones look like on. So this is a front view. 
to this side to this side and then on the top as well so that's what the headphones look like when they're on so let's pop them on my neck for now but a quick look at what they look like on I'm gonna quickly talk about how comfortable these headphones are or in this case how uncomfortable they are so I'll just show you the uh, padding on the ear cups is a little bit rough uh, the pattern on it again is a bit rough and just sort of irritates your ears a little bit the uh, cushioning is mm, it's soft but there's not much of it that doesn't provide much cushioning the headband is again not the most cushiony but it's actually not that bad it's the ear cups that are the most uncomfortable the um, clamping force is not too bad but for some reason they just sort of slip on your ears a little bit and because the material this pattern here is so rough it just irritates your ears so if you're walking these headphones aren't good but if you just sat then they're not too bad so let's talk a little bit about noise isolation now because they're an on-ear design and uh, not an over-ear and they're not noise cancelling the uh, isolation performance is not great actually I mean you can still hear plenty of background noise coming in as well as noise leaking out now they're not the worst I've ever tested but again they're not the best either they're, they're around average I would say so if you're commuting you're probably going to hear a little bit of uh, music coming from these if you have them at high volumes but then again buses and stuff like that are pretty noisy so it shouldn't bother anyone unless they sat right up next to you now we've uh, discussed all that we're going to talk about sound quality now again this is a bit of a letdown for these headphones uh, so I'll start off with just a general overview now the sound overall is a little bit hollow uh, a bit shallow and uh, vague and if I had one word to describe it it would be disappointing which is a shame because I do like the rest of the headphone so the bass frequencies is alright the mid bass is great but then your lower bass just seems to be a little bit missing so for example when you get a really deep bass line on a track these just don't seem to deliver the mid bass like I said is is fine but then it just hits just before it goes to low and then that's it, it just drops off the uh, mid frequency is alright, it's again a little bit vague so you do have to adjust your EQ to bring it out a little bit more the vocals are nicely neutrally balanced but nothing special uh, the neutral and natural sounding which is good they don't sound too artificial but again they're just not that exciting the high frequencies are a little bit sharp and um, again they just sort of compromise the sound a little bit they're just a bit intrusive into the uh, rest of the sound field so that's just a general uh, overview of these like I said they're not the best sounding headphones but again they're not the worst but if you think about how much these headphones cost they're all much better on the market that you can actually buy right guys thank you for taking uh, your time out to watch this review I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you all on the next one.